Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to count values uh, in a data frame, how to count values for the entire data frame or for a specific column and how to retrieve the unique values, i.e. to uh, you know remove the repeated values and just have a look at the unique values in a certain column. Let's begin by uh, importing pandas the usual way and creating our usual data frame. If we display the contents, we must have um, become very familiar with this now. So that's our data frame with the usual columns and uh, the um, you know the column labels and the row labels and the indexes and if we want for example to count uh, how many how many each unique value appears in a certain column then we can just use the count the value counts in pandas so I can do pd which is referring to the pandas package pd dot value counts and then I pass it a data frame the data frame uh, column contents so df of score one and if we have a look at the documentation of value counts so doing shift tab then uh, we can see it says here it computes a histogram of the counts of non null values okay and what it takes it takes just value so I can pass it the contents of a column um, and it should give me a count of the unique values so if I run this then I get for score 1, 44 is repeated twice, 54 appears only once, 61 appears only once, and so on and so forth. And the other options here, as you can see, that we can actually get sorting to, to false. So now it sorts in descending order. I can have it in sorting in ascending or descending if I want, and so on and so forth. And there's any if there's any um, uh, uh, null values, then it drops them by default. So that's how to do it for a certain column. I can pass it the column uh, like that or I can say dot values and it should give me the same thing. Okay, and now to do that for the entire data frame, let's say we wanted to count, you know, all the unique values in the entire data frame, then we can use the apply method. Um, and to do that is uh, we can uh, is as follows. We can say data frame, so df dot apply and then I can pass it the function name that I want to apply to into the entire data frame. And here the function I'm using is p is count values. And what this does is it applies it to the entire data frame, so to all the columns. Um, we get a warning there that uh, we can't compare a string with an int. Uh, we can sort this out later, but uh, we can resolve it later. And what I wanted you to see here is that we get for each attribute so all the unique values of the attributes, how many times they appear in which column. So um, the attribute first, it appears in column rank five times. Attribute, attribute second, it appears in column rank uh, four times. And then it doesn't appear in city, it doesn't appear in score one and score two. Likewise, um, the attribute roam, so the value roam, the unique value roam, it appears three times in column city doesn't appear in rank, doesn't appear in score 1, and doesn't appear in nan. And by the way, this, I'm sorry, it doesn't appear in score 2. And these not available numbers, or uh, 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 these null values, we can get rid of them by saying dot fill na, and we pass it 0. So basically what this does is it shows us that you know, this value, for example, Tripoli appears three times, three times in column city, zero times in rank, zero times in score one, and zero times in score two, and so on and so forth. So that's how to do it uh, to the entire data frame. I hope the idea makes sense. And now, to just display or list the unique values, then we can use the the method data frame. I'm uh, sorry, the, the method unique in data frame. Um, just say data frame uh, of city, I'm sorry, in series, because the column is series, and I can say dot unique like that, and it should give me um, an array of the unique values. Okay, so for city maybe, or for rank, likewise, it gives me uh, first and second. Of course, I can save it into uh, a variable, and I can do whatever I want with that variable, okay? So um, let's stop here. That's how you do counting and how you display the unique values. Remember, the link to uh, this notebook and the code will be available below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.